Welcome back to the Nerd Giant Gamer channel. I'm Harbinger50, and as I've promised in my comments with the other uh, release of a stray video, part six, uh, I'm here to do a review of the game. It, it, it kind of falls in the middle. I didn't love it, didn't hate it. Uh, some of the puzzles were challenging, I guess. Overall, there were like, I don't know, a handful of the jump scares. I mean, it's great when you can do it with just the environment and sounds by themselves. Uh, but when you only have, I think there were like literally five of the, the dead creature zombie things roaming around and a couple of them I could completely avoid. Um, I'm sure if I went through it enough I could completely avoid almost all of them. Uh, there were also, it seemed like a couple bugs, like a couple instances where one playthrough where the creatures were, they're right there, they kill me, next time I come through, nowhere to be seen which made the game a lot easier. Um, but yeah, like the sound, like the atmosphere that they created. Um, you can see in this screen right here where it's dark in the uh, main part of the museum, the main floor there. That never happened in my playthrough, but even in the preview of the game, they show this place like coming to life in, in the dark. So I'm kind of wondering if that's like a bug or if they just made an update that changed it later. But you know, th there's, just some questions I have, like errors, like the uh, the fact that in the very beginning we had the shed surrounded by an electrical fence that had no door. The fence had no door. Um, you know, I, I went back and saw, watched my videos, and I saw that the uncle or the professor, Professor Walker, Rupert, Rupert Walker, was in fact my character's uncle. I guess I didn't take it literally when they were like saying that it was. You know, he spends too much time in his museum, you know, sometimes when somebody really likes something, like, say, a football team. Oh, that's his team. It's not really his team. So I just kind of just passed over that information, I guess. So that explained that question that I had. The other question is, what happened to everybody else that they mentioned that disappeared? You never find that out. Now, this game isn't horribly old, so maybe they're working on a sequel. Maybe it depends on how well this one did. Um, maybe they would answer some of those questions. One of the biggest ones I have at the end, where you know you put the shard back in and then you do whatever with the symbols floating around the eye, which I guess was the demon of the void. Um, one, what, what's with the symbols? What did that have to do with anything? And how did we get there in the first place? Granted, I mean, there's a supernatural element to this, yes, and some things aren't going to be explained, but seriously. You put the shard in the thing, should have been done, not just a uh, stealth mission. Or at least when you did that, something should have been explained. Like, you should have found the dead bodies or had, like, a flash. Because it was showing you scenes or something at the very end. And, you know, it's a bunch of random scenes. I guess I just want to know what happened to all the people I was looking for. And then at the very end, you see that whole crystal structure that was supposed to be the prison shatter. So, did it escape in the end? Did you fail? Did you actually help it get released. So was, which one was it, Bella, right? And then she was not crazy, and that all the clues and stuff were left by the monster to make other people do their bidding, uh, or do its bidding. I don't know, it's a free in the end. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd say don't buy it unless you do, like I did. It was on sale. Uh, I really like Steam's options. You can throw things on the wish list, and when they go on sale, you get a notification. I'm not trying to pay more than 10 bucks for any game. This one was, I think, less than five when I bought it. I, I could probably check. But I mean, I'm getting some for five. I'm getting some for less than a dollar. And uh, I'm going to throw up a video clip of uh, my list of games, and y'all can look at it and tell me which ones sound interesting. You can go on the Steam website and probably read up on them, see which ones you might like to see me play. Um, the physics, the boxes floating around, completely jumping around, whatever, didn't like that. The origin of the temple, I, I mentioned that in the game. Where did, what's going on with that? Trust me when I say wearing the headphones for this game, much more effective for those sounds, because I know watching the videos after the fact, like after I posted them, like some of those sounds, it's just like clang and you're, and I'm like, shit, that freaked me out. And y'all are probably like, why? Ignore the fucking vent cover. It meant nothing, it just dropped you scary. It was crawling around, all the sounds that, like in the vent and stuff like that, like, what was the point? I expected something to jump out of the vent. That would have been great, you know? Half expected, but do it. Don't disappoint my expectations. It was kind of short. If I were to like, play through it right now, knowing everything I know, I'd probably be done in a few hours. Yeah. Total the white book, oh my god. I went all the way back outside to the beginning looking for a fucking 
fucking white book that was on that shelf the whole time. Oh yeah! The lady in the painting that disappeared, that's standing there on the chair, Scooby-Doo style, just gone. That should have played a part in the game. That was one of the scariest things in the fucking game. Oh, and they just, there's no reference to it, there's nothing, it's just there and then gone. And oh my god, I must have passed it four times before I ever noticed that. They totally broke the tension, you know how you had the music in all those parts, and then you get to uh, certain areas, no music, no tension, nothing, just you walking around. Planetarium, that's a good one. It was like, the that could have been so much more creepy. I mean, it was already pretty dark, and there, there was... There was a lot of space in that that had nothing to do with anything, like the whole lower level. I didn't even show y'all me walking around down there, because there was no point. You could look down from the platform, see the symbols. You could go down there, there were stairs that led right back up to the top. Why? In case you fell off? Why even make it so you could fall off? Just because it's a planetarium and it looks like that? I don't know. It was stupid. I didn't like that. The flashlight. Why? Why? Why do we have batteries? Why? Didn't need them. It would recharge on its own. What is the location? of the museum, like where on planet Earth is that museum? That it could have been built on top of this whole under underground city or whatever of ancients that apparently is only like one or two floors below the surface of the you know normal ground. No one ever stumbled up, uh, stumbled across. Whose body was that at the end? Whose dead body was that at the end? Because at one point, I think Professor Walker had the crystal fragment at another part. I think Bella had it. Apparently, they were going to fight each other. And what happened to that body? It looks like it was just burned. Now, were they just being lazy on the graphics? On that one body, out of, out of the no bodies that they had, all of a sudden, they're just like, yeah, we don't want to put textures on it. We have a perfectly uh, well-rendered woman in a chair that disappears to freak you out, but the uh, dead body that might have had, might have been someone you knew, uh, yeah, whatever. Just, uh, she just burnt her crisp, or he's just burnt her crisp. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm kind of pulling for a second game to explain some of this stuff and make it uh, go deeper into some of the uh, mysteries that they created there. But yeah, as far as uh, playing a horror game or whatever that was supposed to be, that was like one of the first that I've done, so overall not impressed. If it's supposed to be horror, make it horror, make it, I don't know. It, it had scary moments, but overall, and, and the sense of foreboding was there, yes, but, I'll, again, I'm glad I didn't pay full price. Put it at that. This would be the uh, list of games I have for anybody who wants to check them out and give me suggestions on what I should play. Um, just picked up a few more. There's some on sale right now. It's Steam. They always have something on sale. I will be getting back to the exercises. Nothing for this one. Um, and I may incorporate more stuff that's not just, oh, you're working at home, or you only have your floor and a bench to work with. I might start including, like, um, the free weights I have, the dumbbell sets, and maybe the pull-up bar that I have. I appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And as always, uh, please like, subscribe, and share the videos. I will uh, take all your comments and your trolling below, and I will see you in my next video.